Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome to Wix Fixer. This is Velo 101, or learning JavaScript with Wix code. Today, we are going to be learning about functions and creating our very own basic calculator. So let's get started. Okay, so for today's uh, demonstration, I have a basic setup of two inputs, a button, and a text box. And what we're going to be doing is creating a very basic calculator where you can enter a number in each text box and then click Calculate and get the addition result for this calculation. Uh, in the next video, I'll be showing you how to make a slightly more advanced calculator where you can also let the user decide what kind of calculation to make. But for now, we're just going to be doing addition. And for these input boxes, so I've set them up so that the placeholder text is enter a number. And I've also set them to take in numbers. So this will limit our users so that they can only enter numbers here. And we won't have any issues with people entering text. And as you can see, I've also given each of these elements their own unique ID, which is readable. Okay, so let's get started. And as usual, we're going to break down the problem. So first of all, what we want to happen is something is going to happen when we click this calculate button. Okay, so we're going to need to set up an event, uh, an event listener. And what's going to happen when we click the button is we're going to need to get the value of input one and the value of input two. We're going to need to add the values together. And we are going to need to display the result. OK, so these are kind of the five things that we need to deal with. And today, what's going to be different is that we are not going to be building our callback function inside of the event listener, but we're going to be building it as its own independent function. And what a function is in JavaScript is kind of a bundle of instructions that you want to write down and commemorate and say that when I tell you to do X, you will do Y, Z, A, B, C. Okay, so you're going to do a few things every time I tell you to do this one thing. So if I say, uh, go buy milk, it'll include walking to the store, uh, selecting the milk, going to the cashier, giving them the money, taking the milk home. Okay, something along those lines. And then each time that I say, okay, go get milk, then our JavaScript knows that's what needs to be done. And the way that we create a function uh, is in one of two ways. So either we can use the function keyword. We say function, and then we say the name of the function, and this will be add, okay? Because we're going to be adding two numbers together in our function. And then what we do is we add parentheses near the add, and we open squiggly brackets. And then everything that goes inside of these squiggly brackets is what's going to happen when we execute our function. Another way to write functions, uh, which is a slightly more modern way of writing functions, is by declaring the function as a variable. So I can also say const add is equal to a function. And this, so I'm throwing an error here because I had add twice. Uh, but you'll see here if I comment out this function, then our error goes away. And these two things are pretty much equivalent. There are some fine, fine differences. Uh, and I'm actually going to use this first method for now because it's less error prone than the second one and less complicated. Uh, but I do recommend being familiar with both because a lot of modern code is written in the second way. So inside of our function add, basically we want to do all of our calculations. So everything here that comes after the button click. So we want to get the value from input one. Okay, so we're going to declare a new var variable. I'm going to say const number one 
or you can even just write num1 for short, is equal to, and then we're going to select our element, which is number one, and that's going to be the value of the element. And then we're going to have number two, and that's going to be equal to dollar sign w, and this is going to be our number two. And one thing that I want to highlight here is that if you saw when I was typing, so as I wrote dot value, you can see here that this is a property of the input and it's equal to a string. Okay, so even though I told the text box in Wix in the editor that I only want people to enter numbers, when we read the value of it in Velo, it is going to be a string. And this is something that's unique to Velo. Uh, and it's important to know because we cannot do calculations with strings because strings are just text. We need these both to be numbers. And there are several ways to convert a string to a number in uh, JavaScript, but I'm gonna be using the one that is number, open parentheses, and then place the value inside, okay? And I'm gonna do this here for the second number as well. And this way we'll be able to use these values for calculations uh, and not just to display them as strings. The next thing that we want to do is we want to add these two numbers together. And I'm gonna add them together inside of a new variable, which I'm gonna call result. And this result is going to be equal to num1 plus num2. Okay, so I can kind of do calculations here on the right side, and the left side will be equal to the sum of this calculation. And the last thing that we wanted to do was to set our result text box to the result. Okay, and this is throwing an error because we cannot assign a number to a string. Okay, so we converted these strings to numbers in order to do this calculation, but now we want to put these, uh, this result inside of the text box, but this text box can only display strings. And the way that we convert from a number to a string is just by writing dot to string open parentheses. Okay, so we have to kind of convert back and forth between uh, different types of vari uh, variables, different types in JavaScript. Uh, and this is something that we'll elaborate more on later on, but for now you should know that you know two different types and one of them is string and the other one is number. And strings are text and numbers are numbers. Uh, and now this function basically does our calculation and sets the value of this uh, result text box. And one convenient thing that you can do in uh, this IDE, this code writer of Velo, is you can right click and you can click format. And then basically it makes your code a little more readable by adding indentations. Uh, the JavaScript will work also without indentations. There are some coding languages that wouldn't work without the indentations, uh, but it is recommended to format your code so that it's more readable. Uh, now it's easier for me to see that all this code is what's happening inside of the function. So it kind of helps create a higher hierarchy within your code. So now that we created our add function, we want to use the add function. And the place that we want to use the add function is within our event listener for the button. And so I'm going to tap in and select our calc button here. And I'm going to say dot on click. And if you remember, this is where we have the handler, the callback function that runs when we click. And what we used to do until now is we used to open parentheses and we used to create a function within these parentheses. Okay, you can see here that this is very similar to what I showed you before 
with the const add equals open parentheses. Okay, so you see that this here is very similar to what we have inside of this callback uh, function here. And that's because this is basically just a nameless function, a function that's not named that you only use once. But we created a named function that we can reuse. And what we can do is just instead of having this, we could just put in the name of our function. Okay, and it's important that you put in the function uh, without these parentheses, because when you put it with the parentheses, it runs the function immediately. And that's not what we want. We only want it to run when we have our on click. So our code is looking pretty good and let's test it out. So I'm gonna go into preview. And let's try our first calculation. So I'm gonna have five plus seven and calculate and we got 12. Okay, so our calculator is working. Congratulations if you've been following along. And today what we learned, I'll just do a short recap, is we learned about functions in JavaScript and in Velo, and we learned about types briefly, but we'll elaborate more on types later on. And we built our own first simple calculator, which we'll be making more advanced in the next video. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a lot. If you did, please do subscribe to watch the next videos and give me a like because that's very nice and friendly. And I hope to see you next time.